In 1952, Alan Turing proposed that reaction diffusion systems could lead to patterns via diffusion-driven instabilities. This remains a fundamental stepping stone for the mathematical study of patterns because it was a simple model that could mimic a lot of the patterns we observe in nature. One of these systems is the gerer meinhardt model for an activator-inhibitor system. This model has two chemicals that react with each other, one activator and one inhibitor. The activator will promote the production of both the inhibitor and itself, whereas the inhibitor will increase the rate of degradation of the activator. We have seen that reaction diffusion models are sensitive to spatial domain, and in the case of pattern formation, we find that patterns only form on domains that are large enough, as you can see from the two side-by-side -side animations on the screen. This becomes more interesting when we extend the model to a two-dimensional system. This time, we can vary the size of the domain on two directions. In the MATLAB simulation shown, all of the parameters are kept the same except for the size of the domain. The long thin domain at the left develops stripes, whereas the square domain at the right gets dots. One way of thinking about this is that in the thin domain, patterns only form in the x direction, whereas on the other hand, patterns develop both in the x and y direction in the square domain. The sensitivity to spatial conditions can mimic things we observe in nature, for instance in feline tails. Some felines will have tails that start off wide and taper off. Others have thin tails and some have thick tails. Our model would predict that the tails that taper off will start off having spots and then switch to stripes. The thin tails will only have stripes and the thick tails will have dots. This is in fact what we can observe across felines in nature. At the beginning of the series we asked how the tiger gets its stripes. This model here suggests that patterns come out of balancing out the reaction and diffusion of chemicals with the spatial domain that they diffuse in. But the story can't end here. After all, if it was just a matter of growing domains, then why don't elephants have psychedelic patterns? Why aren't humans spotted or striped? More models have been made to account for other variables, like patterns in growing domains, and adding noise to the system. Beyond just the math, many experiments need to be carried out in order to isolate the chemicals whose concentrations are modeled in the reaction diffusion equation, and this is not an easy task. Therefore, much to the tiger's disappointment, it will not find out why it has stripes today, but an exciting story promises to unfold as experiments and models uncover more details of pattern formation in nature.